Hey, this is Walt Matten along with my buddy, uh, Mr. Bluegill, Troy Peterson. And, oh, this is a pretty good one here. So it's late ice over here in Washira County. And a lot of these little bodies of water still have six to six inches, four to six inches of safe ice, while the larger bodies of water aren't safe anymore. So we're testing out some new products, catching our favorite fish, the bluegill, and we'll see how we do with everything. There you go, buddy. All right. Deep water bluegill is a lot of fun. You know, the nice thing about having small lakes, small little ponds like this, is you can drill a ton of holes and then you just troll. You literally, you just take your locator and drop it and hole the hole the hole. You see some fish, you fish them. As soon as they disappear, you move on to the next hole. And uh, it's the you know benefit, I guess, of having a small body of water. Nothing huge, but good, good fighters. Swim away. <laughs> I got a bluegill, Walt. All right. I just switched colors and went to one of the multicolor my moons. Oh, look at that. Ah, wrapped around the tr transducer cord, obviously. Went to a purple and white and went a little bit smaller. Look at the colors on those fish. Not huge, but he bites good. This is lucky day today. He gets to go home. Oh. Oh, oh, hey, Troy. Uh -oh. Ooh, ooh, this might be one of them big ones you were talking about. You got a good one there, Walt? Ooh, yeah, she I think looks so, yeah. big. Yeah. This is, yep. what this is what we're, it's nice to have those little knee pads you got. There, yes, huh? keeps your knees dry. Yep. And uh, we're not getting any younger. <laughs> what do you got there? What do you got there? Oh, he got my. down in the weeds. Got down in the weeds. Ooh. Look at that bluegill. <laughs> Look at that bluegill. Oh, boy, that's a nice bluegill there. That is a bluegill. That's Mr. Bluegill holding the bluegill. That's over 10. Big, giant On the multi-mimum with a little little plastic dressing to make a little bug out of this thing. But this is kind of a chartreuse lime flavored one here. And uh, we've got some new tungsten, too, coming out that I'm going to show you that's going to blow your mind. It's a little bit like this, a little bit not. So. We're going to try that out a little bit later. You know, the importance of having a good lake and uh, keeping in a good lake is putting big fish like this back. So many people come and they look for, oh, I want to keep 9s and 10-inch bluegills. Guys, that is your breeding stock. That is what makes the fish that you're catching. Put them back in and your lakes will keep producing big fish. One of the things I like to do when I'm using wax worms is pierce the tail put the head back on, maybe today I'm doubling it up because they seem to be light biters, but the key to the whole thing is to kind of drop it in the hole just a little bit and make sure when you jiggle it that you're not spinning. If your wax worm isn't set right or your tail isn't set right, a lot of times that jiggle spins, especially on the lighter jigs. Another key is to use a straight line reel because with a straight line reel, the, as you're dropping the line down, it comes off straight. It's not putting twist into the line like a spinning reel does and that keeps your line from twisting. Oh, there's one down there. <laughs> he just came in and smacked it. <laughs> you know, the fun thing with extremely gin clear lakes is if you got a little bit bigger hole, you can stand over the top and sight fish them. Now we're only in, oh, I'd say about 10 to 12 feet of water, but this water is so clear uh, that, uh, you know, it's nothing to see 30, 40 feet. So stand over the top of the hole and you can watch these fish eat. Oh. There we go, there's something good. Up near the top, Troy. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Oh, look at that. Woo! <laughs> right up near the top, I seen something. And uh, he was right up under the ice, maybe about, well, we're, we're at about 13 feet here, but it was probably about four foot down. And uh, I raised up to him, and there it was. And this is on one of the new Yayi jigs, which is kind of like a little bug. Now this is one of the prototype colors, so the actual colors that we're coming up with might be a little bit different once we release them, but they're going to be something like that. That's all I can tell you. Sometimes you got to go out here, you got to give these lures a try, find out what works right, and then those are the colors that you choose. Being a guide for the last 17 years, I've really picked up on a lot of different uh, tips and techniques, not only from being out on the water every day, but fishing with the best fishing guides, guides, professional anglers across the world. And uh, I can definitely say I've picked up quite a few things, but the number one key to my success, uh, you know, going from an average Hello, if you want to be number one fisherman like Czechai, then you need custom jigs and spins new tungsten series. 
Number one is Yayi. He's got bird hair for lots of action. Number two is Glazba. He's got diamond on nose. Now it's 100% more diamond. Number three is Chekai Magnum. Seven millimeter for monster fish. So be like Chekai, be number one. Use it custom jigs and spins to tungsten jigs. Hey, we caught some pretty good fish out here, Troy, today. That was a good day, you know, yep. despite uh, the conditions, some fog and some rain, but right. you know, it is late ice. It's that time of the year. Uh, just like first ice, guys, if you're gonna get out, be safe, you know. Check with your bait shops, check with some of the guides, and uh, just be cautious on where you're walking or, or where you're going. Keep the four-wheelers back on shore, and um, you know, fishing can be good. Yeah, yeah, we caught some pretty good fish. You can see we're the last guys out here, and uh, hopefully we'll be the first guys next year. So go to your local tackle shop or go to customjigs.com and check out the new Yayis, some of the new Czech eye colors, and the new Glasba. Midwest Outdoors will be right back.